Hello. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you guys? Good, good, yeah, good. Yeah. Excited to talk to you. Same to talk to you guys as well. Um, so my first question would just be, um, what was your initial, oh, sorry, name and outlet, Brittany Murphy, Geeks of Color. <laughs> Um, so my first question for you guys would be, um, what was your first reaction to getting the news that you were cast in the series? Mm. Relief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's a good one, a relief. It really depends on like, everyone's kind yeah. of the processes and getting the role, I guess. Yeah. I think we all had a long journey of auditioning. Yeah. And mm. it was... Personally speaking, I forgot. <laughs> like that, I, I mean, you have auditions and you kind of, go, well, I have a thing of once I've auditioned, I throw the script, I crunch the script up and put it in the bin and kind yeah. of, of recycling and kind of move on. Kind of go, that, that's it, that's the job, that's done. And then two months later, you get another call. You're like, oh, right, that's still going. And then, and then, and then the closer the kind of the time, it was a long process because they saw absolutely everyone. And then for it to kind of come back, it was relief. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they they, they I made the right it. choice. I, I, for me, was yeah. a long process as well. Uh, you know, and I experienced a few rejections along the way. You know, I had a, my first no after maybe three different auditions, which were maybe a, a, across like three or four months. My, my email, the email that I got was like, hey, it's my other saying they're going another direction. And my reply was, nope, oh. and I just sent it. You know, that's that was my reaction. And my team called me and I was like, I'm not taking no for an answer. This is, I'm doing this role. I got another re rejection later. Um, by that point, I was in the desert of South Africa shooting a film. Uh, no Wi-Fi, we have to like send my tape two hours away to the next town that had internet. We uploaded it. Uh, and then they came with another no. <laughs> <laughs> and by that time I was like, no, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I knew that J.A. lived in Spain. So I was like, maybe I can go to Spain and show up at his doorstep and they're gonna, he's gonna know that it's me. I, I know that if he meets me, they were like, we don't want you to get arrested, sweetheart. You know, <laughs> so, so like we, we'll find another way. And then finally they send me the most gentle rejection. And then I, I kind of, they were like, listen, bro, you are great. Stop it. <laughs> uh, but then they asked me to come test and, uh, you know, I felt like the wild card in that point and nothing to lose and kind of rolled up my sleeves and did the thing. And here we are. Did you guys feel after getting the roles any nervousness um, just due to obviously Tolkien, his works are so beloved. Did you ever feel any nervousness or pressure to take on this world? I didn't. <laughs> No, I did it because I felt like I was in safe hands. Like JD and Patrick are so infectious in their passion for this project. And, you know, we have no say in the in what the, the direction that we're going to go. So it's kind of just serve the script and do as much work as you can. And, and, and you can't do any more than your best. So, you know, and what if people like it, great. If not, it doesn't matter. You know, it's good to split. I don't know. It's good to split the room, I suppose, isn't it? Just yeah. to kind of, if everybody loves it. Those are fighting words. Oh, I come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. No, but, but I mean, I get what you say. I mean, it's safe. It was a it's safety. It's safe. I mean, it, and it's yeah. I know. It's like, Obviously, also all together. I mean, that's, the yeah. ensemble aspect of this particular show, I think, makes yeah. it. Yeah, yes. easier. We couldn't. We couldn't because there was because there was confidentiality as well. We were. We could, we had each other to kind of talk to about things, yeah. express any nerves. I think, f for me personally, at least, nerves came by just I just wanted to do the story that they'd written justice, mm -hmm. and I also knew that, you know, we were all just really, we all just really loved the scripts and loved the characters and felt connected to them. So it was just wanting to wanting to portray that truthfully. Well, my next question is kind of a fun one. Obviously, there are many different beings in Middle Earth. So if you were to choose, would you remain whatever character you are um, in the series or would you, you know, change it up? I don't want to be a dwarf. I'd rather be an elf or anything like that. Mm, it's difficult to kind of stray away from being a dwarf because I have such a sense of ownership of, you know, Khazad Doom and my people. Well, live a little. But let, <laughs> just let it go. Let it go, baby. <laughs> just... Uh, yeah, I, I, it's it's difficult. A tree, I'd like to be a tree. Uh, 
That's awesome. I would be a wizard. Mm. I want to be a wizard. Some I'm dead Radagast. Some, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that one. Yeah, that one. I would love to be a wizard. I would love, I love to be a wizard, yeah. Yeah, I think Numenor. Or I love, I do love being a half though. It's fun. <laughs> Amazing. What would you be? Thank you. I really enjoy the elves. Mm. Like really badass, you know. I always enjoy archery. I don't know if I could actually do it, but I would try. Yeah. <laughs> so come Thank on you over. Guys. Come on over. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for your time and congratulations again on the series. Thank you so much. Thank you.